the Edge is my favorite event of the year. You get to see Mark Asetta at his best, literally a full weekend of our director of training. If you don't know Mark yet, I believe in my heart, I've seen a lot of people train and he is the best I've ever seen. Worldwide in network marketing, I don't know of anybody better. And at The View, you get to see him on display the entire weekend. Well, what he does is a bunch of different skits. Each skit has a training point. So you're not only educated, but you're entertained. You almost feel like you're sitting there watching a bunch of different movies in a theater style environment while you're learning how to build your World Ventures business. We call it edutainment. Just think of the reason, it's something like you can remember a song you heard when you were six years old, and you can remember it word for word if it comes on today, but I personally can't remember what I was doing yesterday. Well, that's edutainment. So when you go watch The View, you might have a character that you see and you like, but you don't know how it really affects you till six months later when you're in the closing process or you got a brand new prospect and instantly it's almost like a flashback where you think of a character that you saw. For me personally, there was a character called The Matrix. And what Mark talks about is how we get that one person, that ace that we're all looking for, exactly what to say to that person. And I can remember somebody that I signed up and I was at a point in my life and in my business where things weren't going the best. And I had this person sign up and they were excited. And they signed up on the part of the team that was gonna make me the most amount of money possible. And that one person, I remember thinking right when they signed up to tell them they were the one. Just like Mark's Matrix character where he says, you're gonna be the one. And if I went to Ben at The View, I don't think that I would have really talked to the person like that. And what ended up happening, they ended up becoming the one. So whatever you do, do not miss The View. But I do want to share this with you. It's pretty difficult to sell cars effectively if you're riding a bicycle. So if you want to tell people how amazing the trips are, it's very good if you go on a trip from time to time. And it's just, I know a lot of you are looking at it going, well, I'm not in a position to take a vacation right now. But remember, this is literally work-related. You can sell something for real. I mean, this is not just some, I know sometimes as adults we can justify responsible behavior. Sometimes we spend money we really shouldn't and we do it irresponsibly. But in my mind, going on a trip is so key because now you've experienced it. So if you're sitting there telling people, oh my gosh, these trips are amazing. Oh, you should look at this rate and look at that rate. Again, it's different than going, these trips are great. Here's the picture of the one I went on. And I met this person and did this. And it's when you have ownership of the product or service you're selling, you're just way more effective at doing it. You're, we all understand that only 7% of communication, if you don't understand is 7% of our communication with each other, the actual words that we say, all the rest of it, the nonverbal communication, the eye contact, lack of eye contact, all the things that are driven by our unconscious mind. If you're trying to sell something that you don't believe in with your heart, we know that there's some people that could sell ice cubes to an Eskimo in a snowstorm. Okay, fine. Let's throw them out because we're not recruiting professional salespeople and we really don't want those folks anyway. We'd like to fill our company up with millions of people that only sell this product because they believe in it from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Would you agree with that? And it's difficult to believe in a product if it's theory only. If you, if you think, you believe it's really good, but until you've experienced it, it's just different, guys. You know, watching the Super Bowl on TV is awesome. It's fun. Being at the Super Bowl, totally different experience. Any of you ever done that? Totally that one of the most remarkable experiences you ever go, it's a peak experience. I'm gonna to get to that more as we go along here, but.